Okay, so finally I have all the parts I need. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just a little bit of adjustment here and there. This part I don't need anymore. Just going to get rid of it. Uh, make sure that we have... So... And... Um, so when I have these two tracks with one backing and a, uh, a soloing or a lead track, then I like to EQ them a little bit differently. The lead part I want to have a little bit bright. So I'm going to keep this setting that I have here, maybe even a little bit more. And in the backing part, I don't actually need it to be that bright. Uh, and I particularly also want to hear the bass. So I'm going to... Uh, lift this a little bit. Let's see. Now it's a bit too loud. So let's take this down a little bit. Space is a little bit too much. Also to uh, to pan them a little bit apart, so not too much, because it's really annoying if it's too much. But just to have a little bit of separation, one to the left, one to the right. to listen to the track, see if there's anything else, if there's anything else that I need to adjust. check if there's a click there because I didn't hear one but let's solo this track and listen again no it's it's fine Master side, I'm also looking a little bit at the at the total level, making sure it's not too high.
one thing is that uh, here at the in the at the ending, the volume seems to jump a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's clearly louder. So, what I can do, for instance, is uh, show this uh, volume curve here with this mod with, with this button and just bring it down a little bit here So, this is how you can record a two-track tune with two guitars, a backing and a lead part. To finalize this, I can uh, mix it, for instance, to a WAV file. Uh, and I'm going to just call it Fall in Love Mix. And you see here that it's now mixing, actually doing the mix and making a audio file. Now the next step, the final step, if it's necessary, could be to uh, load this final mix again into Cakewalk and to do a sort of a mastering session. So to uh, to adjust the levels and maybe some final EQing. Uh, for these kinds of very simple tracks, I don't usually spend a lot of time in it. I mean, it's n there's no need for it to be perfect. 